Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about our recent and most crucial updates that we did during the February. So there were five important points that we improved. First of all, we created the JSON format for our trading view and different sources. So now you can put the dynamic variables through the script. That allows you to enter each position with its own take profit targets, stop loss, and all the other features that can be adjusted. We also added the maximum number of open positions for the signal bots and the DCA bots. At the same time, we now allow you to edit your current live grid bots. We also improved the move stop loss to break even. And at the same time, we added extra APIs based on your subscription plan. So let's dive into this one now. In our signal bot, we added a new feature to pass the code using the JSON parameters. Now, this is a very important feature because it allows you to pass the dynamic variables. So each entry can execute its own take profit, stop loss, trailing stop, and all other targets that you can put into the code. So let's have a look of what's actually changed. When you start creating the bot, you can now see in the bot settings format that there is a JSON option. This option is available for trading view alerts, API requests, and others. As soon as you switch to the JSON, you would be able to create the alert using the JSON code. And we already have a video about this. So have a look at this one. It will describe in details how to pass a JSON parameter to Wunder Trading. We also added the bot start condition, which is the other. Under the other, we created a dedicated webhook, which will allow you to use any automation software, which can pass the information to the webhook in order to create the strategy. So you can now use the services such as Zapier in order to create a strategy and execute it through us. We also started to add the new features which will allow you to manage multiple bots at the same time. One of such features is maximum number of open positions. So if you click on the settings icon, you would be able to see that the max open position setting controls the maximum number of trades a bot can have open at once. So if we're talking about the signal bots, if you set it to five, the bot will not open more than five positions simultaneously. This is quite a nice feature which will allow you to fully control the risks. So imagine the scenario where you have 50 different signal bots, but you don't know which one will enter first. And obviously you don't want to split equally the amount with which you would like to trade. So to allocate, for example, just $100 for each. What you can do is to put the max open positions to the number that you prefer, for example, five or 10, and then allocate your funds in such a way that only first 10 signals will be executed. This will allow you not to risk more than you intended in your positions. The same feature is available in our DCA bot. So if you click on the settings, once again, you would be able to tell the DCA bots how many of them would be open simultaneously because one DCA bot contains only one strategy, including all the extra orders from the DCA. So let's have an example. You can have 50 DCA bots. All of them are going to be triggered when their RSI is below the certain level. Therefore, you can clearly understand that as soon as the first five, for example, will be triggered, and if your max open position is equal to five, only them will enter into the market. When one of the bots will stop the execution, the new slot will become available. So the first come first serve base is available here. We also made some adjustment for the grid bots as you requested. So right now you would be able to edit your current grid bot. If you go to your current grid bot, which is currently running, you can adjust the settings. For example, you can put the take profit, the stop loss while your bot is running. Also, the position settings are available for adjustments. This is a feature that many of you requested, and we obviously all the time listening to the community that we have, and we're trying to improve the tools based on your recommendations. 
Another feature that we updated thanks to your recommendations is moves to plus to break even. You can find this feature in all of our bots or trading terminal. So let's have a look. If you create in the signal bot, this is going to be your exit options of move stop loss to break even. Before the update, it only had the activation percentage, which means that after the price is moving in your direction for the amount of the percentage that you selected, your stop loss will be automatically moved to your entry price. We also added the execution percentage. Now that means that the stop loss will be automatically moved not to the entry price, but to any level that you require. So let's give you a quick example. The activation percentage is the percent the price have to go in the direction of your trade. So for example, if your activation percentage is 2%, that means that the price has to go in the direction of your trade for at least 2%. The execution is the percentage from the entry price where the stop loss will be adjusted. That means that the execution price will be calculated based from your entry point and not from your activation price. This updates allows you to manage risks and make sure that you account for the commission once your move stop loss to break even is activated. We also increased the number of multiple APIs that you can connect. It depends on the subscription plan that you're currently on, but you can go to the pricing and check exactly what is now the number of API accounts per exchange that you can have based on your subscription. That was it for the review. Thank you very much for watching and please write your comments because based on your comments and suggestions, we're improving the platform so it's becoming more and more user-friendly and easy to use for you. Thank you.